Not surprised to hear that it's yet another um, movie fetishizing female pain, even in death. Emily Ratajkowski is sounding off about Netflix's Blonde. While admitting she hadn't seen the new Marilyn Monroe biopic yet in a September 30th TikTok, the My Body author criticizes the film for objectifying the hurt of women. We love to fetishize female pain. Look at Amy Winehouse, look at um, Britney Spears, look at the way we obsess over Diana's death, the way we obsess over dead girls and serial killers. Watch any CSI episode and it's like this crazy fetishization of female pain and death. Emily then notes that she herself has also learned how to turn her own pain into a commodity. So that it feels like something that can be tended to that's kind of sexy and like, you know, I'm like this, oh, girl, whatever. And I think we do that in many, many different ways. Um, but I want that to change. The 31-year-old model and actress who filed for divorce from husband Sebastian Bear McClard in September says instead she wants women to embrace their anger. Anger is hard to fetishize. So I have a proposal. I think we all need to be a little more pissed off. Um, I'm gonna be in my witch era, 2022, baby. Emily isn't alone in her criticism of the Andrew Dominic directed movie starring Ana de Armas. Last month, a representative for Planned Parenthood called out a scene in which Ana, as Marilyn, communicates with her unborn fetus that asks her not to quote, hurt it like she did last time, seemingly referencing an earlier abortion. Planned Parenthood Federation of America's National Director of Arts and Entertainment Engagement, Karen Spruch, told The Hollywood Reporter, while abortion is safe, essential health care, anti-abortion zealots have long contributed to abortion stigma by using medically inaccurate descriptions of fetuses and pregnancy. Andrew Dominic's new film, Blonde, bolsters their message with a CGI talking fetus, depicted to look like a fully formed baby. It was a shame the creators of Blonde chose to contribute to anti-abortion propaganda and stigmatize people's healthcare decisions instead.